welcome to another episode of the Process and Automation Podcast with the Automation Guys. Today, we are talking about the challenges that organizations face with their work processes and how automation platforms can help. That's right, Sasha. It's a good topic. Um, and I looked at a recent survey and it found that 71% of companies with 500 plus employees struggle with multiple conflicting processes and disconnected workflow systems with 50% of, of employees saying many of these processes don't work efficiently or many of mm. these processes are simply not fit for purpose. Wow. Yeah. So uh, again, it gets me thinking what's holding companies back from from taking full advantage of of um, of process automation yeah. and uh, i guess uh, it's the cost of development time and um, and that's what we hear and the resources required to plan and code and test and deploy um, all these custom solutions yeah exactly correct and i think there is this sort of anxiety um just coming back to that survey um you know, this is the same survey and 77% of companies reported that they can't automate processes on their own because, you know, they're too reliant on mm. IT or operational departments. So, so, mm. so there is this, this sort of barrier that exists that makes it very hard to take this first step in, mm. you know, automating uh, processes and, and sort of opening up those initiatives. Mm. And that, that's exactly uh, where local development uh, comes into play. Um, the local platforms, um, many of our listeners probably have um, uh, heard us talking about local before, but yeah, many of those uh, platforms empower um, business people with just basic technical skills, not 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 the, the sort of the deep uh, high coding um, uh, skills. Yeah. Um, yeah, enables them to build and automate their own workflows using um, drag and drop interfaces so very visually and very easy, right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, by allowing more people to create and automate these workflows, it really reduces the burden on IT departments and allows them to focus on other high value projects while still remaining um in control over the the, the processes mm. that you know these so-called kind of business developers uh roll out of course there are some governance frameworks that needs to be put in place we have talked about this on numerous occasions um in this podcast and you know if you've missed some of the previous episode um you know feel free to to listen back to to some of those where we talk about the the guardrails that we need to install and this is purely a sort of a i guess an it led initiative but effectively you know creates the the framework that business developers can then develop these automations within without causing security problems scalability problems um proliferation problems support mm -hmm. problems, you know, all, all of the usual things that um you can imagine um will happen if if there's not proper governance in place mm -hmm. So let's um, look into what are some ways that automation platforms, low-code automation platforms, um, uh, can help um, in in the businesses and can improve the the way we work. And uh, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, so we'll go over some you know of the key benefits. Um, the first one is to give people really the power to automate, and again, the, the most effective platforms out there uses a, a visual drag and drop type interfaces so business people can go out and build and modify processes you know without writing very complicated it code um you know when the individuals who uses the processes are building uh, these automation solutions they can determine what the experience and functionality will be like and then the application or the app effectively that they build can be tailored to meet you know all of their challenges um goals objectives you know mm. of, of, of a particular um you know business problem that they are looking to automate or the next one is um they can handle complex workflows at scale um 
So making it simpler to implement non-standard processes such as yeah, the role delegations, um, approvals, parallel approvals, escalations, and far more. So yeah, workflows that are built to accomplish just one process at a time don't really cut it. So when you're trying to scale across um, several departments uh, in, in your organization, and um, yeah, platforms try to expand across an enterprise are often too complex and and too expensive. So, in a platform that leverages um, sort of that drag and drop, the clicks rather than the coding, um, uh, it can easily scale across departments and, and provides the best of both worlds, really. So this makes it one hundred percent simpler to implement non-standard processes, such um, yeah, as I mentioned before the. The exceptions and reroutings and 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 so on so the more complex workflows pretty much yeah yeah um another key benefit here is um you know you protect your data by integrating um with native security systems so obviously we talked a bit about governance and you know keeping data secure is a priority um and you know can be a concern when you, for instance, connect your line of business systems, your CRM systems, your ERP systems with any external platform. So, you know, the, the best platforms will respect your native system security settings. So data remains protected, you know, no matter, no matter where it's accessed from. Um, and also what's more, you'll be able to create your own security settings around your data, you know, with, with your, 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 your sort of process applications interacting with your data. So there's this kind of a security model, uh, all of the best of breed uh, platforms support. Um, and this uh, ensures that, you know, only the, the, the right people um, are able to uh, create, modify data when, when they interact with the processes. And again, this, this, idea to protect your data is really important and it's also a key element to allow uh, scalability of these solutions um you know when when they um get deployed across various departments within inside your organization mm -hmm. yeah so the next benefit um, of these automation platforms is um, they easily integrate with line of business systems such yeah. as document storage solutions, document management solutions, uh, and other platforms, maybe like social media platforms. Yeah. So, yeah, most automation platforms provide um, out of the box workflows. So, so starter blueprints, accelerators that can be used immediately within your departments, and these workflows yeah, easily connect and integrate with. Um, yeah, sort of the, the the leading line of business systems and document storage solution. Uh, they are connectors um, available straight away for for Dynamics, Box, Dropbox, SharePoint. So everything what's what's sort of quite popular out there, um, you can very easily connect to. So you don't have to build all these integrations like we did in the past. So meaning you can perform your work within these systems without. Um, uh, leaving the the app you're you're building so yeah yeah big benefit there yeah the next one is really looking at accuracy um of of the actual application um and you know again if you if you use one of these platforms um it actually increases your accuracy um automatically really because it allows you to identify workflow anomalies and so a lot of platforms has 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 got really um intelligent models with inside them and you know if you out there and you're a business developer and you are deploying you know some of your custom apps you know identifying i don't know, any bugs or glitches um you know usually requires manual review which takes a lot of time and issues may still be overlooked during your uh, development and deployment phases. So automation platform can help individuals, like I said earlier, diagnose and fix application issues, whether or not it's mm. a workflow issue or there's a integration point issue or failure with, with, with integrating with a specific endpoint where you source data from, or even a form component, you know, and, and this can happen before your app is deployed. So, you know, 
people that develop these apps um, get the best experience possible. So when once the apps are uh, deployed and you are using them, it just ensures that you know there's no bugs that's overlooked. Things just work, mm-hmm. and you know you can get on with with using the application rather than worrying about debugging it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, very cool. Yeah, and um, these platforms uh, also offer uh, mobile access um, out of the box very often, um, uh, most of the time, really. So um, a big concern when you have sort of operations teams out out uh, in uh, outside of the office uh, mm-hmm. and um, need to capture information. Um, yeah, so having access to 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 the data of the process and the backend via mobile device um, is is super important um, and very um, necessary for 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 lots of that uh, you out there. So the best um, applications offer that mobile access. Um, so you know, your employees can respond to tasks, initiate workflows wherever they are, really in any time. So super important. Um, yeah, and back then. Yeah, we had to develop these apps natively or separately next to our um, uh, workflow solutions. And uh, yeah, these days out of the box, straight away available. Yeah, yeah. That is um, that is a very powerful feature. Um, you know, especially, uh, you know, it's all out of the box. It's, mm. it's easy to um, implement, configure. The next one I want to talk about is um, the ability for this platform to provide powerful analytics to encourage process improvement. Um, of course, if we automate a process, um, you know, we always want to look at improving it. So automation platforms provide you with that immediate analytics and reports so you can identify any issues to further optimize your processes like bottlenecks for instance um, and and things that um you know make your process uh, less efficient so you know whether it's using a, a out of the box report or a custom dashboard you have that power and flexibility to monitor and measure processes and their performance mm-hmm. um, with the view that you can enhance them whenever you know so you could you could look at these reports and they really tell you a lot about um you know uh how to where to invest your time basically to to improve the process really cool so i think um yeah that that brings us to to an end um i think these benefits show um just how automation platforms can yeah, can help um, your organization, um, help your organization to streamline processes, um, yeah. increase productivity, and uh, yeah, ultimately improve the way um, how how you work um, you know, on a daily basis. Yeah, all in all, yeah, these kind of platforms make it um, make developing and deploying complex complex workflows really really easy. And um, yeah, more and more companies are taking a platform approach. To um to automation to make their businesses more efficient, um uh, as we mentioned in the beginning, um big big blocker is development time, um so they use these um platforms to reduce the development time uh, massively, um some some say um, you develop like ten times to fifteen times faster than was the traditional coding um uh, methods and um yeah that that's that's very true in lots of um, scenarios, um yeah. yeah customers are eliminating um roadblocks and uh, yeah enhance customer experience um and of course yeah these platforms and getting applications out very quickly and adapt them to um to changing environments um helps to to meet regulatory requirements yeah yeah and ultimately improves the bottom line yeah absolutely and i think that's what it's all about um so that was that was uh hopefully a a very very good uh, list for all of our listeners out there that um want to look at sort of the 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 key benefits maybe you're interested in automation and you want to um look into low code platforms and this could be you know workflow platforms case management uh robotic process automation platforms um and again if you're interested in learning more about how automation platforms can help your organization please be sure to visit our community 
on the automationguys.net. Uh, there's there's resources there. Obviously, uh, all of our previous podcasts are there. Or just get in touch with either myself or Sasha on LinkedIn, um, and you know start the conversation. Uh, you know we here to to help you guys out there. If you, if you want to take that first step, maybe you, you feel a bit anxious and you don't know where to start. Um, you know that's the reason why we talk about these things on these podcasts, really to to mm-hmm. make it really easy to get started and really to demystify, you know, all all of these uh, automation. Uh, related topics out there and 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 really simplify things so that if you have got any opportunity in your business where you want to deploy some automation mm. it's really really easy to get started and also you know you you get the support you need cool yeah so yeah that's that's it for for today's episode um, of the process and automation podcast yeah thank you for tuning in um yeah we will we will be back um, with another episode very soon and um, until then let's automate it unfortunately that's it again with this episode of the process and automation podcast if you like this episode please give us a five star rating and don't forget to subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss any upcoming episode we hope you will tune in next time and until then Let's automate it.